Narduzzi Show. Brought to you by GBU Life. Providing life insurance annuities and community service since 1892. Air Pro Heating and Cooling. Call someone you know. Call Air Pro. And by NSS Life. The Pat Narduzzi Show is on the Panther Radio Network. To the campus of the great University of Pittsburgh, welcome to the Pat Narduzzi Show. I'm Larry Richard with the Chris Bickle 97 head football coach, Pat Narduzzi, fresh off a season opening win over Kent State 55 24. Coach, good to get the season started, good to get that first W. It is. It's good. You know, those openers are always tough because you don't know what you're going to see. New defense, you know, there's so many things going on, so it was good to get that one out of the way and at least you now you got a game of Cincinnati who were up, you know, who's on the clock here versus Towson. and you got a little bit of a fresh, you know, fresh game and it's it's always more fun that way. And between the two teams, 1218 yards of offense. So this should be an offensive uh, explosion on Saturday in the well, River let, City rivalry. Don't want to hear that, Larry. Settle down. <laughs> I want to see our offense explode. I want to see our defense stop the run and not have any problems like that. Sounds good to me. So you're familiar with Cincinnati. You spent three seasons there before moving with Coach Antonio to Michigan State. So you know the city, the atmosphere there. It's got a great place to play a college football game at noon. Yeah, it's about 35,000 people. It's, you know, it's tucked in the middle of the campus. Um, you know, people can walk by. They can play soccer out there during the day. We always thought, like, as coaches, like, what is going on? We go out there for practice. We're kicking people off there. They're playing soccer, smoking butts out there. They got, you know, cigarette butts on the field. It's, a, it's an interesting place. I've never been to this, but uh, Pitt is familiar with Cincinnati from the old Big East days. And, of course, now uh, they've been in the Big 12, and their coach you're familiar with uh, as well. He's in his second season. Uh, Scott Satterfield is – Coming in after their opening win, uh, four and nine they went last year. So they're looking forward to uh, trying to get their thing going too. So this would be an interesting matchup. That said, overall, you've always said to us in the media, you say, hey, we'll see what we've got when we get in a game situation. So what do we got at the University of Pittsburgh? You know what? You know, um, we kind of have what I thought we'd have. You know, you know, I'll start off with the defense. Everybody wants to talk about the offense. You know, we played fast on defense. You know, we made mistakes, you know, in every phase. But I liked how fast we played. I, I liked the pressure we put on the quarterback. I like the re- reckless, you know, aggression that we had on defense. That's, you know, you, what you saw. We can tackle better. We can take better shots and all those things. Uh, but I like that. And then offensively, you, you, you know, you had to love the explosion that we had. That's the only explosion we want is offense explosion from Pitt. Um, and, um, you know, you had to like what Eli did out there. He was, you know. You know, he's in charge of the offense. You know, he operated the right way, and uh, he made the throws he needs to make. Um, you know, Desmond Reed, you know, did his deal. I mean, you look at the receivers, those top three guys um, did an amazing job catching the ball and making plays. So um, we'll just have to build off of that this coming week. One of the things I heard Tyler Pelko say when asked, what's the difference between being a college football and when you went to the NFL, he said in college you throw to the open receiver. In the NFL you throw open the receiver. What I liked what I saw from Eli Holstein was a few of his passes, he was throwing open a receiver, which uh, was very impressive for his first collegiate right. start. Again, Co- Coach Bell does a great job of getting that ball out of his hands. Uh, for the most part, um, you know, I think that's the most important thing. And, again, throwing it before the guy comes out of his break. That's, that's, it's got to be done that way. You're going to get hit too many times. So, you know, anticipating throws, those are, you know, uh, things that uh, Kate focuses on every day. You hear him talking and coaching and coaching and preaching to the quarterback. So uh, you saw that happen on game day. Yeah, and the opening drive went down and scored. And uh, the electric uh, atmosphere that started the Panther pit because of that just uh, lifted the team and then battled through some adversity into the second half. All of a sudden, through a series of uh, plays, Kent State's within a touchdown, and you go, uh-oh, but then you just broke it broke it wide open. Yeah, I mean, you know, sometimes it's good to go through adversity. I don't want to do it on purpose like that, but it was, it was self-inflicted as I talked, you know, Monday afternoon or Monday uh, at noon. You know, it was self-inflicted what we did to them. Um, and, um, you know, we got we got to correct that. That's something you can't go on the road. You can't go into ACC play uh, having, you know, drop punts and, and, and pick, you know, picks, you know, going back 50 yards. Yeah, that said, you held them to 31 yards rushing. 
And what I liked is uh, Brandon George saying, you know, our goal is zero yards rushing, even after that very solid performance. So it's exciting, though. You jump right on the road, and but you have a lot to evaluate. As you say, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And you've also talked about the biggest advances for the team usually come from week one to week two. So what have you been working on this week? Oh, man, we've been working on everything. You know, just cleaned up the details in all three phases uh, without getting real specific because uh, you guys wouldn't understand anyway. But, uh, you know, every week is a different game plan, so you try to clean it up. Um, but, you know, uh, you know, what we're working offensively on this week is you have a totally new front that we haven't seen. You know, three down you know, front, they're going to drop eight people in coverage. So, um, you know, it, it'll be challenging for the quarterback to, you know, find open receivers, and he's got to be really good with the ball. And, and uh, most important thing is protecting the football. So, you know, with, with the drop of eight, um, you know, um, and three men rushing, and there are three good players up, uh, up front uh, for them that can put pressure on the quarterback. And, uh, big, big, long, rangy guys. And there were 34 players in the Bearcats that got their first start. Uh, at Cincinnati last week with Townsend State. When we come back, we're going to talk about the weekly player awards. You're listening to the Pat Narduzzi Show on the Pitt Panthers Radio Network. As on the football field, financial planning requires a comprehensive playbook to win the wealth management game. JKS Financial understands that your needs are unique and will provide the game plan to win your financial goals. Their wealth advisors use proven strategies with a focus on retirement distribution and will coach you through your journey to financial stability and peace of mind for the future. Visit jksfinancial.com. You want a news source that delivers unrivaled football coverage? Then you want the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette because the Post-Gazette delivers football 24-7. High school, college, and the pros. Up to the minute, in-depth reports, scores and stats, matchups and highlights, breaking news and breakout players. Exclusive coverage, online, in print, or on the go. So for football and all the news that impacts our region, the Post-Gazette delivers what matters most. At Sarah's Candies, we make raising money for your group simple and sweet. With our chocolate bar and pretzel rod fundraisers, there are no minimums to get started and you can earn up to 50% profit. Whether you're raising funds for a school, sports team, or even just yourself, we make it easy for groups of all sizes to succeed. Mention this ad when you order over the phone to earn 50% profit on your next order. Call 1-800-255-7771 to get started today. Mac.bid is here. What is it? It's your place to save up to 80% off retail. But don't share this news, because you don't need the bidding competition. Neighbor wants to know where you got that new mower? Lie. Mom's admiring your new cookware? Fib. Your priest wants a new TV just like yours. Okay, maybe you tell your priest about Mac.bid, but don't tell anyone else. You need to become a deceiver, a teller of untruths, a fabricator of falsehoods, a spinner of yarns. Winning at Mac.bid is amazing. Competition stinks. Mac.bid is here. Tell no one. Welcome to the Eliza Hot Metal Bistro and Hotel Indigo Pittsburgh, University Oakland. At Eliza Hot Metal Bistro, our chefs are true craftsmen, infusing every bite with passion and precision. Elevate your special event to new heights with our rooftop terrace, with over 2,600 square feet of flexible event space. And when it's time to relax after being minutes from the action, our well-appointed guest rooms provide the perfect sanctuary. The Eliza Hot Metal Bistro and Hotel Indigo Pittsburgh, University Oakland, where every detail, every moment matters. UPMC believes that not having a place to call home is as much of a health emergency as anything else. That's why we're working to increase access to affordable and stable housing across Pennsylvania by partnering with local organizations. Because life-changing is helping you before you ever walk in our doors. Learn more at upmc.com slash community impact. UPMC. Life-changing medicine. Narduzzi Show on the Pit Panthers Radio Network. Play action fake, fade pattern, left side of the end zone. It's pulled in in the corner. Do they roll touchdown? They do. Kenny Johnson extending right before the pylon. Got the foot inbounds. Touchdown, Pit. 51 years. So let's hear it for Bill Hillgrove. So happy to have him back with us. And he will be inducted, along with the late Dick Grote, into the Panthers Hall of Fame, the first broadcasters ever. And just 
a few weeks. In the meantime, let's talk to Coach Pat Narduzzi about the weekly player awards. Let's start with special teams, so important. And we saw one of your explosive plays that you look for from a young man named Desmond Reed. Yeah, we talked about Desmond Reed, um, you know, last week uh, at the radio show. And, you know, I've talked about him all camp, that the guy's explosive. He's going to take some uh, plays to the house. But, uh, you know, besides what he did on offense, that big punt return uh, that he had, you know, the, the interesting thing is we worked so much on punt return, our punt return team. Um, the, the defense was on that field at that play. That was a defensive play because we were in punt safe because I think it was fourth and four or five yards, and we said, hey, play safe here. Let's make sure there's no fakes. And our defense was on the field when we you know, generated that return, which I think is even more special that, hey, you know, it's not just punt return that can get returns for touchdowns. So uh, Coach Mandelak kind of runs that unit and uh, did a heck of a job getting the, t- you know, the first touchdown of the year on special teams. I liked uh, watching. It seemed like he had a second gear. Once he bounced off a defender, then he cut to the right, and then he just turned on the jets and yeah. just blew by guys. Yeah, he, he, was, uh, he was running 20 mile an hour, I think. So uh, that's what he can do. If he gets, he gets space, if he gets a hole, uh, he can take it to the house. That was a heck of a t- return and great blocking by the, the defense on that play. And let's talk about the defense. Player of the week is? Our middle linebacker, um, Brandon George, number 30, did a great job. He had a winning grade. You know, we call it a winning grade. We got percentages on it, but we say, you know, sometimes those percentages can be, you know, was it good enough to win? We got, you know, a winning grade. We have, uh, you know, uh, low winning if we want to say he's kind of on the edge, high average, average, or low average, and we got losing. You know, so there's guys that get losing grades too uh, based on their performance. But Brandon had a winning p- performance. He had a uh, strip sack at the end of the game, really to end the thing um, on defense. On a, I think it was a fourth down or third down and short. Um, so Brandon, Brandon had a heck of a game and, and did a nice job. And then on offense, Desmond Reed again. Desmond Reed, I mean, you know, just, you know, graded out 92%, obviously a winning grade and 145 yards rushing. You know, he had another, you know, explosive TD um, in the run game. So, uh, you know, Desmond's a guy I hope we continue to call his name out a lot. And overall on offense, 560 yards, a very impressive start to the season. And it doesn't happen without the guys up front. No question about it. And the offensive lineman of the week was our, our right guard, uh, B.J. Williams. He, you know, snapped, you know, had 81 snaps, graded out at 88 percent, and had, you know, one pancake. You know, he hopes to have more than one pancake. But because, uh, you know, when I was reading this on Sunday morning, he had two pancakes Sunday morning. He only had one. <laughs> I, I beat him by one. Um, <laughs> but uh, two big pancakes I had. But uh, you know, B.J. B.J. did a heck of a job again. He was a redshirt freshman a year. Or excuse me, a true freshman a year ago. You know, he's a true sophomore now, and uh, he's coming on. All right, unsung heroes. These are kind of in the midst of the global view of the game. You extract a couple of things that really pop for you and the coaching staff. No doubt about it. It's those guys that maybe weren't quite the player of the game but played great games. Special teams, Ben Sauls. I think he was 9 for 9 on extra points and field goals. Hit a 50-yarder, uh, graded out 95%. You know, um, and just so everybody out there knows, the one, the one uh, kickoff that he put short that ended up getting returned pretty good. We wanted to beat it to the – you know, two or three yard line, and, and Ben didn't kick that one well at all. But uh, Coach Bronowski said he was getting selfish because he wanted to go down and tag him. And, you know, he wanted to hang it up high and try to tag him, and it kind of backfired on us. So I was like, just kick that thing out of the end zone, <laughs> give it to him. To Which he's and capable, let's go. literally, oh, yeah. out of the end zone. His leg is that strong, and you feel pretty confident yeah. he'll be playing on Sundays. No question about it. Uh, defensively, uh, unsung hero was Key Thompson, transfer from Ohio U. Uh, physical and shoot, he could be the unsung hero on special. He had some knockout hits in our pump, our kickoff return team as well. Uh, but Key played really well with three tackles at a PBU and made some plays there. And then uh, on offense, offense, you know, you got your tailback getting you know player of the week. You got your quarterback getting the unsung hero who you know just you know operated high level. You know the hardest job on the on the team. Eli Holstein gets that with his three TD pass he threw and passing for 336 yards. Uh, heck of a day. And he was, uh, you know, you, you switched out Nate Yarnell, so that wasn't a full game. That was uh, just a piece of the fourth three quarters. Quarter. Yeah, yeah. So three-quarter yeah. effort by yeah. Eli and Holstein, who got the ACC uh, Rookie of the Week honors. So let's move to Defensive Attack Force Player of the Week. Yeah, Attack Force, the guy's got a lot of production, just playing crazy. Uh, Sincere Edwards, a true freshman defensive end. Um, had a winning grade as well and had four tackles, but he's just physical. He comes off the edge. Uh, he's going to create a lot of havoc on the quarterback. 
you know, sometimes he doesn't know what he's doing, but uh, he plays fast regardless of what he does. And uh, Sincere is going to make a lot of plays for us this season. We're excited to have him. Well, you can hear Bill Hillgrove calling his name a lot on Saturday. All right, the Rocks Players of the Week, for those that don't know, uh, they're the scout team. Really important because that's their chance to show you, hey, this is what I've got. And you've, over the years, you know, you've been, you've, you've mined some real gems from the Rocks team. No question about it. Um, you know, the special teams Rock of the Week was A.B. Ibrahim. I think he may have gotten it a year ago, uh, a couple times maybe. A, you know, a linebacker here, a PA guy um, that uh, has done a nice job for us, continues to get better every year. I look at his progress right now compared to what, where he was a year ago. Uh, he's made some nice progress. He's physical, and uh, he loves football. And then finally, uh, on offense and defense. Yeah, um, you know, on offense, uh, one of our tight ends, uh, Adam uh, Howanens. Uh, Adam, um, again, is a guy that made some major, major improvements. He would have never, ever got this a year ago. Um, Adam uh, has made major improvements in the weight room. He's gotten stronger. Uh, he made some great catches last week. He prepared us, you know, just at that tight end position. Uh, so that our defense got a great look. And, you know, so Adam was there. And on defense, a young guy that you're going to hear a lot about in the future, a scholarship kid, Jeremiah uh, Marsland, uh, South Florida, Fort Lauderdale guy, uh, middle linebacker, can also play, you know, our money position at the boundary. But Jeremiah is a good football player. Um, you know, he traveled with us, and he's a guy that we'll continue to see on special teams. And then, you know, he might migrate into the defense at one point this season. And those are the Panther Player Weekly Awardees. And when we come back, we'll talk more about Pitt's offense as they get ready for Cincinnati at noon on Saturday, the River City Rivalry. You're listening to the Pat Narduzzi Show and the Pitt Panthers Radio Network. Thanks to 850 community partners across an 11-county service area, Greater Pittsburgh Community Food Bank is working to eliminate hunger and stabilize lives across the Three Rivers region. We're committed to making sure all our neighbors have consistent access to healthy food, and we're connecting people to other critical services to address the root causes of food insecurity. To get help, volunteer or donate today, visit pittsburghfoodbank.org or call 412-460-3663. When it comes to financial planning, most financial companies ask, what's your salary? At Northwestern Mutual, we ask, what's your story? We know building the right financial plan means looking at more than money. That's why we start by asking the right questions, listening to what matters most to you, then guiding you every step of the way to help you live the life you want. Plan your financial story with Northwestern Mutual. Contact Northwestern Mutual Pittsburgh today. Visit pittsburgh.nm.com. The Northwestern Mutual Life Insurance Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Hey Pittsburgh, it's Cam Hayward. I know firsthand that an illness such as cancer can strike at any time, even when you're at the top of your game. If you're healthy and life is going your way now, this is the best time to get life insurance. You can get a policy with GBU Life that is affordable to you now and build on it for the future with their guaranteed purchase option rider. Get started protecting the life you're building today at GBU.org. GBU Life is the marketing name for GBU Financial Life. Pittsburgh, PA. Life insurance underwritten by GBU. This is a paid endorsement. Coverage is subject to approval and may not be available in all states. Hey, Pitt fans. Delta Airlines is proud to fly the Pittsburgh Panthers and their fans across the country and around the globe. Delta Airlines offers nonstop service to six destinations from Pittsburgh. Whether traveling for business or pleasure, you'll enjoy Delta Airlines' award-winning customer service as we support you through your travel journey. Pitt Athletics and Delta Airlines, keep climbing. Making the right call requires speed and accuracy. I've got your result right here, Mrs. Johnson. Siemens Health and Ears provides laboratories with fast and accurate test results when and where they're needed. From the world's largest hospital systems to care centers here in the Berg and across Western Pennsylvania, Siemens Health and Ears helps labs tackle the toughest challenges. The two-minute warning, the caution flag, the four. At PNC Bank, we believe in the power of a helpful watchout. That's why we created Low Cash Mode, the new financial watchout that gives you multiple options in at least 24 hours of extra time to avoid overdraft fees. Low Cash Mode on Virtual Wallet from PNC Bank. Available on all virtual wallet products. To learn more, visit pnc.com slash lowcashmode. Copyright 2021, the PNC Financial Services Group, Bank. All rights reserved, PNC Bank National Association, member FDIC. It's the Pat Narduzzi Show on the Pit Panthers Radio Network. 
Here's the snap. Looks for the end zone. Throws to the end zone. It's pulled in. What a catch by Kanate Mumfield for that 11 yard strike. Yeah, bunch set. They run a little angle post route and clear out the zone. A little high throw by Holstein, but. Like about Saturday's performance with the Pitt Panthers opener against Kent State. And let's start with the offense. We spent last week talking about your new coaching team, including Cade Bell, who, by the way, is offensive coordinator uh, on the field. And he's very animated. He's animated. He reminds me of somebody else. <laughs> he's animated. He's, uh, he's animated. You've got to love it. He's animated every day in practice. Uh, and, uh, you know, and I think our kids feed off that. I think, you know, that, that uh, energy, that passion he has rubs off onto our football team. Yeah, and for those that don't know, uh, one of the, the things that college football has that they had for many, many years is they have that green dot for the quarterback on offense and then uh, usually the Mike linebacker on defense. So that uh, you have – what's the window for, to get a play? To, you, have to, you can talk to him all the way up until 15 seconds left on the, on the uh, play clock. And what did you think about your own up-tempo offense? So many fans might not have noticed right – you know, right away, but you could see where sometimes they would move to the line of scrimmage very, very yeah. quickly. You know, 57% of the time in that game of our whatever 80-some snaps, we snapped the ball before 22, you know, with 22 seconds on the clock. So it was, you know, I think we had three under seven seconds. We talked about that. Right. Not going to be 20 or five, you know. So, you know, the tempo was kind of what we expected to be somewhere in that 50% of we're really moving. You know, some third downs you're going to slow down. So, you know, again, you want to look to the sideline at times just to find out what they're in and, you know, see if you, see if you have something on them. How do you get to call in so fast? How does Coach Bell do that? Coach I mean, just, but it just rolls off his tongue. I tell you what, he's, he's – uh, again, like I told you last week, I mean, he, he does it every day in practice. Even with new calls he'll have on his call sheet this week, he just spits them out and can – you know, he knows the offense. It's his offense. He and knows it. It has to be truncated because you don't have time to, to, to call out all the, you know, the assignments. It's, it's snap quick. It's quick. It's quick. And that means a young guy like he's a, Eli Holstein, he's got to process that and be able to know exactly and everybody else. Yeah. You guys have to be on the same page. Zero snap penalties, which you kind of felt uh, going in was going to be uh, one of the outcomes. Uh. No question. You know, you were worried about the operation. and um, But, you know, going back to what you said about Eli, I mean, you think about a redshirt freshman quarterback getting his first start in college football, plays the way he does, and he's got no time. He's got to, you better know what you're doing. I mean, if you're snapping the ball in seven seconds, you're snapping it in 22 seconds, 20 seconds, 18 seconds. You know, he's getting a call. Those guys are getting lined up. He's got to make sure everybody's lined up. You think he'd be worried about what's going on in the coverage, you know, um, there's a lot going on, and he's doing it at a fast and pace. Sometimes it's so fast that I notice he has, even in that small window, the patience to make sure the guys are set. Yeah. And that, that's really mature for a young man starting his first collegiate game. No question about it. He's, uh, you know, again, that's something, you, again, we've been working on for months now. It wasn't something he did the first day, and it uh, didn't quite look that good in spring ball. So, uh, he's he's uh, done an, you know, an incredible job. And that said, you had a chance to uh, have Nate Yarnell come, come in, and then on his first drive, he ends up throwing a touchdown pass. Yet uh, Monday you announced that Eli is your starting quarterback for Saturday. Yeah, I mean, we were happy with what Eli you know, uh, did, obviously, in the first three quarters, and then Nate came in and played really well. And, uh, you know, you're going you're gonna to need two down the road. You know that. And uh, we, we got – you know, Nate Yarnell is, is a really good football player, and, and, and I love that kid, and, and uh, you feel for him because, you know, you thought he was going to have his opportunity. Um, but, uh, you know, Eli has just stepped up and, and just got to do what's right. I got a lot of text people, you know, everybody has an opinion. I don't know if you're aware of this, Coach. I did know that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> say, but when they saw Eli, they were go, wow, he looks like he belongs. He's 6'4", 225. He's pro style and uh, looked in command. And, Nate Arnell looked good coming in, and he's the Texas gunslinger at 6'6". I like what you got going at quarterback. And uh, let's talk about spreading the ball around, both at the running back position and for your wide receivers on Saturday. Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, you know dic dictated by coverage and, and uh, in those reads by the quarterback, you know, the ball was spread around a bunch of different guys. You know, Kenny Johnson had two spectacular, you know, deep ball catches. Canate was was good. I mean, you look at Gavin getting his his touches as well. I mean, shoot, he had more catches in one game than he's had probably in three games total. 
Uh, so we continue to get the ball to, to Gavin. You have to find ways to get him the ball. And he's so good when he's got the ball in his hands because he's going to run you over and get another, you know, six, seven, eight, ten, you know, who knows, uh, yards after the catch, yak. He's fun to watch. And there's there's been a spark even before Saturday, like, oh, wait till you see uh, what this offense will do with Gavin. And it was uh, fun because his yards after the catch and the way he uh, punishes tacklers – as a fan, it's fun to watch. No doubt, he's 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 he will bruise you up, and uh, and he's got the ability, you know, to hurdle you as well. So those are coming, based on how much space he's got. So uh, we're excited about him. And then you look at the other guys. Poppy Williams played really well, like we talked last week. You got C.J. Lee, who has not practiced a whole lot. I was actually shocked by how much he played. Uh, he's he's back fully, you know, ready to roll here now and. Uh, I think he's better now than he was last week, you know, going to that opener. So we, you know, we were surprised we got something out of him on Saturday, just based on health. And uh, he's a tough kid, and you know, he's adding to our offense. When we come back, we'll talk about the Panthers' defense getting ready for Saturday's game in Cincinnati. You're listening to the Pat Narduzzi Show on the Pit Panthers Radio Network. Hey, Pitt fans, as the official credit union of the Pitt Panthers, Clearview Federal Credit Union is here to help you reach all your financial goals. Clearview wants to help you score big financially, whether you need to save, spend, borrow, or learn, they're here to help. Get easy access to your money from anywhere using their digital banking featuring Zelle, Clearview Live Video Banking, over 80,000 surcharge free ATMs nationwide, and financial centers throughout the Pittsburgh area. Visit clearviewfcu.org slash Panthers to learn more and open an account today. Hail to Pitt. Icy Light is the official beer of getting up early. It's the official beer of rallying the troops. The official beer of turning a three-hour game into an all-day affair. The official beer of, did you just see that? The official beer of rising and cheering in unison for every season-defining moment. Icy Light, the official beer of your Pittsburgh Panthers. Let's raise another. The two-minute warning, the caution flag, the four. At PNC Bank, we believe in the power of a helpful watchout. That's why we created Low Cash Mode, the new financial watchout that gives you multiple options and at least 24 hours of extra time to avoid overdraft fees. Low Cash Mode on virtual wallet from PNC Bank. Available on all virtual wallet products. To learn more, visit pnc.com slash low cash mode. Copyright 2021, the PNC Financial Services Group, Inc. All rights reserved, PNC Bank National Association, member FDIC. Play in the field is under further review. Making the right call requires speed and accuracy. I've got your result right here, Mrs. Johnson. Siemens Health and Ears provides laboratories with fast and accurate test results when and where they're needed. From the world's largest hospital systems to care centers here in the Berg and across Western Pennsylvania, Siemens Health and Ears helps labs tackle the toughest challenges. Mac.bid is here. What is it? It's your place to save up to 80% off retail. But don't share this news because you don't need the bidding competition. Neighbor wants to know where you got that new mower? Lie. Mom's admiring your new cookware? Fib. Your priest wants a new TV just like yours. Okay, maybe you tell your priest about Mac.bid, but don't tell anyone else. You need to become a deceiver, a teller of untruths, a fabricator of falsehoods, a spinner of yarns. Winning at Mac.bid is amazing. Competition stinks. Mac.bid is here. Tell no one. At Sarah's Candies, we make raising money for your group simple and sweet. With our chocolate bar and pretzel rod fundraisers, there are no minimums to get started and you can earn up to 50% profit. Whether you're raising funds for a school, sports team, or even just yourself, we make it easy for groups of all sizes to succeed. Mention this ad when you order over the phone to earn 50% profit on your next order. Call 1-800-255-7771 to get started today. Let's return to the Pat Narduzzi Show on the Pit Panthers Radio Network. Empty set for Eli Holstein. Trips wide left. Throwing left, fade pattern, end zone, wide open, touchdown. And that is Rafael Williams, the junior from Fort Lauderdale and the transfer from San Diego State. His first is a Panther from seven yards up. We heard a lot of that on Saturday against Kent State. Voice of Bill Hillgrove and the River City rivalry renewed. And last year they came to Pittsburgh. You said for you, you were really disappointed. Obviously, it was a close game score-wise, but you said, man, we left so much on the table. So does that play into the 
the players that were here going into, hey, we got to get this one back? No question about it. It better. If it doesn't hurt you, it hurts me. Uh, just thinking about how that game went. We didn't play well on offense. You know, we let them run the ball on us in defense. And, again, you know, you talk about the, you know, the 28 points or 27 points, whatever was scored there. Um, it could have been a lot better. We just didn't help ourselves at all. And, uh, but this is a totally different football team we have right now going you know, down to Cincinnati compared to what we were dealing with last year. All right, let's talk about Randy Bates' defense, your defensive coordinator and the performance uh, of overall the defense, allowing just 31 yards rushing. That's good. Uh, that's good. Better that's one of your checks. Yes, yeah, stop you know, the run. When you stop the run, you get to hit the quarterback. Yeah, and, then, and you know, they we did. had the five sacks. And even you said, boy, you felt bad for their quarterback. He was taking hit after hit. Yeah, you know, he's from Camden, New Jersey. He's a tough dude. And, you know, growing up in a tough city, um, you know, we thought he'd be tough, but he was tougher than I thought he was. He, he you know, I give that kid a lot of credit for standing in, there, in the pocket. But uh, our kids played well. Um, you know, Nick James was impressive inside. Nick James and Nakai Johnson played really well, I think, inside. You know, all three of our, really four of our linebackers, you know, five of our linebackers played really well, I think. Um, you know, across the board, we were solid. Um, you know, we gave up two big passes. Um, one, you know, people are still calling me and texting me today saying that was incomplete in the end zone, you know, the, the, the last one. Um, the broadcast crew thought so too, but we don't count. You know, and I, you know, I didn't challenge it because I'm sitting there going, hey, guys, should I challenge it? I'm, you know, they're up on iPads and can see some stuff up in the box. And they're like, you know, like, we think it's incomplete. And I'm asking the officials, like, should I – call a timeout and they're like you shouldn't have to review any scoring play you shouldn't have to call a timeout they're looking at it but i don't right i don't know maybe they're blind i don't know <laughs> <laughs> and how about kyle lewis uh 10 tackles see he he led the panthers uh with his effort and then brandon george uh raheem biles and uh braylon lovelace all big contributors on d yeah and and, and jordan bass played well as well i mean really those top six linebackers played well up front for us and Hit, hit the holes, played fast, uh, you know, didn't hesitate. Uh, so I like where those guys are um, across the board. Was there anybody uh, on either side of the ball that really jumped out at you just that you didn't expect necessarily that uh, was able to make some plays and you thought, wow, I, I like what I'm seeing here? Not really. I mean, we expect all those guys to make plays. Um, you know, uh, you know, just you know, sincere Edwards is again a young guy. You didn't know how he was. I would say if I, there was one, you might say him. Um, but even when Chief Borders got there, David Ojebi, when he got out there, he did some nice things. Maverick Grasio, you know, when the threes got out there, you were impressed. Um, shoot, when the threes got that last year, there was three TFLs in a row uh, when the, the babies got out there. So I, I would say you know nobody surprised me because they, they did what they're supposed to do. Well, that's actually a good thing. And yeah. then special teams, we, we talked about Ben Saul's uh, very solid uh, nine extra points and made his field goal, so you're feeling pretty yeah. good there. And we only punted twice. Right. How was Junko's punts? He, I think he had a 45-yard average net. They were strong. And they were strong. He's, that's how he's been all camp, so we expect to keep that going um, throughout the season. All right, that said, we're going to call in our uh, scouting expert. Let's bring him in. Let's bring, Let's him, bring in. him in. I think he's a little nervous tonight. He's sitting over in the corner looking at his notes. I think he's a little nervous. I, <laughs> we're talking about Pat Boston. He's got a, he's, how about this crowd? He, and he's drinking a beer over there. See, he's, Let's hear. He's focused. He's you see the in. game day focus on Pat what you drink? What are you drinking over there, Pat? <laughs> it's Apple a, juice, huh? Yeah. It's one sure. of those pit icy lights, right? It's on special here, 5 for 20 at the Hotel Indigo, e Eliza, where they had an old uh, steel mill down here on the south side, Technology Drive. This is actually a really beautiful place just off the campus of the University of Pittsburgh. So in the future, we're here Wednesdays at 6. Next weekend, you're going to want to be here. we got the Backyard Brawl. we got the Pitt Hall of Fame weekend. It's going to be a great night. And when we come back, the scouting report from Pat Bostic. You're listening to the Pat Narduzzi Show and the Pitt Panthers Radio Network. I'm with Rocco Florio from AirPro Heating and Cooling with great news. AirPro and Bryant are now offering the $1,000 rebate program. Buy a furnace, take $1,000 off. Add a central air conditioning system, take another $1,000 off. That's $2,000 savings. Plus up to 60 months interest refinancing or low 3.9% interest subject to credit approval. So call someone you know. Call AirPro Heating and Cooling at 800-749-0642. Bryant, whatever it takes. We sit together every morning. 
planning out the day and dreaming of the future you and I We have planted a family tree in NSS life Moving towards our future goals has never looked so bright NSS life when family matters you want a news source that delivers unrivaled football coverage? Then you want the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette because the Post-Gazette delivers football 24-7. High school, college, and the pros. Up to the minute, in-depth reports, scores and stats, matchups and highlights, breaking news and breakout players. Exclusive coverage online, in print, or on the go. So for football and all the news that impacts our region, the Post-Gazette delivers what matters most. As on the football field, financial planning requires a comprehensive playbook to win the wealth management game. JKS Financial understands that your needs are unique and will provide the game plan to win your financial goals. Their wealth advisors use proven strategies with a focus on retirement distribution and will coach you through your journey to financial stability and peace of mind for the future. Visit JKSFinancial.com. Icy Light is the official beer of getting up early. It's the official beer of rallying the troops. The official beer of turning a three-hour game into an all-day affair. The official beer of, did you just see that? The official beer of rising and cheering in unison for every season-defining moment. Icy Light, the official beer of your Pittsburgh Panthers. Let's raise another. Hey, Pitt fans, as the official credit union of the Pitt Panthers, Clearview Federal Credit Union is here to help you reach all your financial goals. Clearview wants to help you score big financially, whether you need to save, spend, borrow, or learn, they're here to help. Get easy access to your money from anywhere using their digital banking featuring Zelle, Clearview Live Video Banking, over 80,000 surcharge, free ATMs nationwide, and financial centers throughout the Pittsburgh area. Visit clearviewfcu.org slash Panthers to learn more and open an account today. Hail to Pitt. Back to the Pat Narduzzi Show on the Pitt Panthers Radio Network. The give is straight away and cutting it into the open. There goes Mr. Reed for the touchdown. Reed, 46 yards. He zigged, he zagged, and he zoomed. <laughs> and just like that, he scored. Uh, welcome back to the Pat Narduzzi Show here at the Indigo Hotel. And it's time now for the scouting report with the senior. Senior. Let's just do the scouting report, Larry. All right. Major <laughs> gifts. Uh, former Pitt quarterback, Pat Blastic. Patrick, uh, brought to you by PNC Bank. Make today the day. Before we get into the details of Cincinnati, Let's talk about your overall evaluation of what you saw on Saturday. I thought it was good. I mean, it was uh, sloppy, probably the tail end of the second quarter into the third, and you were a little upset, I think, in the third with the defense, run defense in particular. But I think overall, it's an opener. Those are weird games. You're going to have ebbs and flows. I was really impressed with Eli. I was really impressed with Desmond. And, uh, you know, special teams I thought were a strength. They can win you ball games. They can lose you ball games. So good to see them play a role and a factor early in, in the season. All right, the River City rivalry renewed here just a couple of years, and you've got Cincinnati, who had a big win in over Towson, and both, both offenses really explo explosive. So how do you uh, break down what the Bearcats have to offer? Yeah, I mean, they got a transfer quarterback. I think they have 27 transfers on their roster, which is a, you know, similar to last year. They had a bunch, and they got a bunch of Louisville guys. Not as many, I think, as a year ago, but – the quarterback's a transfer from Indiana. I was impressed with him. I didn't realize he played as much as he did at Indiana. He started seven games last year and threw 15 touchdowns and five picks. He's more mobile than he probably looks at 6'3", 230. Similar to Eli, probably size and mobility. Um, they got well, two we, backs. He played one year at quarterback in high school. He's a tight end. Really? Yeah. Well, that's good. See, this is, good little, this is productive yeah. for me, too, and not only for him getting the scouting report, but I get some tidbits. Um, he, you know, they got two good backs, I think. The one kid, Ohio State transfer, took one carry, 64 yards, his first carry. And obviously, Kiner rushed for over a grand last year. So the, the, probably the biggest thing that jumped out at me on film was the tight end on, on offense, the transfer from Ohio State. He's a guy that I think can hurt you. They'll line him up kind of one by three and, and work him into the boundary against 
safety types, and you know Royer's a big dude, and they've had a history of pretty good tight ends at at uh, at Cincinnati. I think he fits that billing. Yeah, he's six five, two fifty three, and he's a hometown boy there in Cincinnati. So yep. a, a home product, Joe Royer. And then uh, what about on the other side of the ball on defense? Uh, it couldn't be more different than a week ago or what you've seen in, in training camp all year, except for maybe third down. Um, it's three three five, and I used to honestly hate playing against three three fives and when I played because it's just so much more to. There's so many more moving parts. It's like when you play a, play a nickel defense on third down. There's just you've got to account who you're treating as a big guy. You know how are you identifying the front? Where could pressure come from? And they really will play three safeties, which. Well, for a young quarterback, it's Eli's going to have to do his film study and understand tells and be smart. Um, but I think, you know, you look at what Towson was able to do, and if they play a soft, you, you hope you're able to kind of just be patient and move the ball down the field and then get your shots later in the game. But uh, it's, a, it's a different defense than you see probably throughout the whole season. You may see her once or twice. Um, but they still have some guys, and they're confident, especially with, with Corleone back, that they can – they can get a three, four-man rush. And if they can do that, you're, you're kind of in trouble. And evaluating uh, how, from a quarterback standpoint, you talked about Eli Holstein. Just that first drive alone, patience, move down the field, and then, you know, pop the big one to, uh, you know, the one-yard line and then finish the play even though they were backed up 10 on yeah, a holding call. I love that Coach Bell called a pass on the first play. I mean, as a young quarterback, just kind of, Breaking the seal a little bit and getting ready to go. Um, it was it was just a good way to start the game, and I thought he looked calm out there. I mean, the biggest thing for me was the anticipation. The ball came out on time. There were a number of throws that if he doesn't throw them when he throws them, they're in jeopardy, and that's that's a good throw. I mean, if you're playing a you're high low in a corner, you don't throw that ball early enough. It's uh, it's got a potential to be picked, and that was what was impressive to me. The location, stepping up in the pocket. Um, he's only going to get better, but I thought for, for a first game, to throw for the yards he did, complete 30 passes, show the poise he showed, um, there, there's a, certainly a lot to work with that Eli put on tape. I'm sure the learning curve is pretty, pretty sharp for him. He picks it up quickly. Obviously, he made some great strides, Coach, since April, you know, since spring ball, and then through the summer to the point where now you, you have him uh, listed as your starter. No doubt about it. He's done a heck of a job working, and and uh, he deserves to play like he did Saturday. I also liked uh, after, you know, in the press conference, you know, he was very excited, as he should be, to get his first game under his belt. But he thanked his parents, his grandparents, his families and coaches and realized this is an opportunity. He, he seems to recognize what he has before him. Yeah, I mean, I, listen, if you're recruited to, to Alabama and you, you have to, to leave and – move up north and it's a it's been a big transition for for him he's from zachary louisiana we even had a whole lot of players at Pitt from <laughs> zachary louisiana and um i think that's you know as someone that was a player and we didn't have a lot of transfers when i played but when there's more transfers and a guy comes in from alabama you got your eyes on him right and he's fit in and I, I think that's been the most probably to me just being around the program like i am the most impressive thing is just his, his willingness to buy in and go out and do his job he never he never was owed anything. He never felt like he was owed anything. He went out and earned it. And uh, he's going to have to continue doing that if, if this team's going to win ball games. If he plays like he did Saturday, continues to, to mature and progress, uh, this is it's going to be a good one. And we'll talk more about the matchup. Pitt in Cincinnati, noon on Saturday on ESPN2. You're listening to the Pat Narduzzi Show on the Pitt Panthers Radio Network. Hey, Pitt fans. Delta Airlines is proud to fly the Pittsburgh Panthers and their fans across the country and around the globe. Delta Airlines offers nonstop service to six destinations from Pittsburgh. Whether traveling for business or pleasure, you'll enjoy Delta Airlines award-winning customer service as we support you through your travel journey. Pitt Athletics and Delta Airlines, keep climbing. Hey Pittsburgh, it's Cam Hayward. As someone who disrupts plans for a living, I can't say enough about the importance of life insurance. Sometimes you can see the end zone right ahead of you, you have a clear shot, then bam! 
It's Cam. A policy from GBU Life can let you focus more on getting out from under what life throws at you and worry less about protecting the life you are working hard to build. Get started protecting the life you are building today at GBU.org. GBU Life is the marketing name for GBU Financial Life. Pittsburgh, PA. Life insurance underwritten by GBU. This is a paid endorsement. Coverage is subject to approval and may not be available in all states. When it comes to financial planning, most financial companies ask, what's your salary? At Northwestern Mutual, we ask, what's your story? We know building the right financial plan means looking at more than money. That's why we start by asking the right questions, listening to what matters most to you, then guiding you every step of the way to help you live the life you want. Plan your financial story with Northwestern Mutual. Contact Northwestern Mutual Pittsburgh today. Visit pittsburgh.nm.com. The Northwestern Mutual Life Insurance Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Thanks to 850 community partners across an 11 county service area, Greater Pittsburgh Community Food Bank is working to eliminate hunger and stabilize lives across the Three Rivers region. We're committed to making sure all our neighbors have consistent access to healthy food, and we're connecting people to other critical services to address the root causes of food insecurity. To get help, volunteer or donate today, visit pittsburghfoodbank.org or call 412-460-3663. We believe healthcare should treat the whole person and the whole community. At UPMC, we aim to do just that by partnering with organizations that help bring fresh and healthy food to the people who need it most. Because life changing is caring for you before you ever walk in our doors. Learn more at upmc.com slash community impact. UPMC, life changing medicine. Welcome to the Eliza Hot Metal Bistro and Hotel Indigo Pittsburgh, University, Oakland, host of the Pat Narduzzi Show. At Eliza Hot Metal Bistro, our chefs are true craftsmen, infusing every bite with passion and precision. Elevate your special event to new heights with our rooftop terrace, with over 2,600 square feet of flexible event space. And when it's time to relax after being minutes from the action, our well-appointed guest rooms provide the perfect sanctuary. The Eliza Hot Metal Bistro and Hotel Indigo Pittsburgh, University, Oakland, where every detail, every moment matters. It's the Pat Narduzzi Show on the Pit Panthers Radio Network. With a slot to the right. Straight away, the give. And into the end zone is Derek Davis, his first pit touchdown. The Gateway Kid scores from two yards out, and the Panthers open up that double-digit lead again. Nice to have him back, uh, the Gateway product, in a Panthers uniform, and it paid off. Larry Richard with... Head coach Pat Narduzzi and Pat Bostic talking about the game noon on Saturday. Pat, your experience in Cincinnati back in the old, old, old days. Yeah, the Big East. It was a lot colder when we played there than what it's going to be on Saturday. It was snowing one year and I think about two degrees Fahrenheit the other year when we played them late in November. And those were always – I love that, that, those games. I mean, you're four, four and a half hours away. A lot of, the, a lot of guys were recruited to either school. Um, didn't know at the time that one of the best tight ends probably in NFL history played for him. This guy recruited both of them. Um, so, yeah, it was uh, – I got fond memories of there finishing the career. Not so fond memories of uh, 2009 in Akershire. Yeah, we'll, we'll move beyond that. Well, it, I worry. haven't moved beyond it, so let's just let's – just Seriously, after all these years? No, you I see, haven't. No, it's, you it's, hold it gets old. It gets, some I of can't those think about it, no. Marty Gilliard? Marty Gilliard, Tony Pike. Zach Caleros. Yeah, so on to this year. Well, Coach, you spent three seasons there. Uh, what's your hotel and or restaurant recommendations for Cincinnati? Oh, well, number one, I think I mentioned it to you earlier, uh, the Montgomery Inn. you got to go there. That's Anybody a rib place, there. right? Rib place. Hey, you got to keep, right on the keep river. Hillgrove clean there, okay? No white shirts they, oh, for they any have, of us. They have bibs. They have bibs. We've got to get Hillgrove a bib. Bibs. <laughs> they will give I don't want him coming bib. into the booth <laughs> smelling like barbecue sauce. Might be sauce. the best ribs I've ever had. Okay, um, Montgomery Inn, but if you want to go low key and you're getting in late, go get a five way at Skyline Chili. You can't you can't, Skyline Chili. What's the best. the best? Two questions. What's the best Italian spot in Cincinnati? Man, I don't know. I can't. You don't know? No. Second question was going to be: Does very this, many good ones? Does this Dante there? Corleone have an NIL deal at this <laughs> Italian spot? Is what I got to ask. Because if he doesn't, then someone whoever's representative is not doing a very damn good job. <laughs> So let's talk about uh, what the Panthers will face, uh, Mr. Bostic, in your scouting evaluation. Obviously, I mentioned at the top of the show, both offenses explosive on Saturday, last week. And obviously, it's like a chess match where you coaches will try to uh, 
key on what they were successful and stop that? And what do you see the Panthers setting up for in Cincinnati well, I, Saturday? I think the team that runs the ball better are probably going to win win the game. Is uh, It's pretty simple old adage for football, but – They've got a veteran offensive line. They've played 80 games together as a group. The right guard's a really good player. Transferred in. They've got two backs they really like, including Kiner. They want to run the ball, and that sets everything else up for them. And I, I don't think they're as effective if they are behind the sticks and not on schedule. And I think similarly when you play a defense that is going to give you a bunch of looks, there's no better way to slow that down than to try to run it. So, um, yeah, yards, points all matter. But if you can't run the ball and control the line of scrimmage, particularly on the road, um, it's, it's tougher sledding. So I think that that will be the key to the game. Um, certainly it's always a key in football is to stop the run and run it. But, uh, you know, it, no matter what style of football you play, you still got to do that. I don't care how fast you go, how many receivers you have out there. If you can't run it, you become one-dimensional against good football teams. It's going to be, be hard to win. And we were all anxious to see the Panthers' offense last Saturday, you know, as fans, as broadcasters, overall uh, – Pretty exciting, pretty explosive. Yeah, there's a lot of lot of good stuff, and there were some uh, probably left, I don't know, two or three touchdowns on the board that, uh, again, perfect situation to have. You win you know, by a, a comfortable margin, even though there was some adversity, um, but there's plenty to coach. I'm sure that uh, it wasn't too pleasant being in the meeting rooms on Sunday, looking at some of the film and realizing that you left something out there, but that's, that's openers. So I expect a lot of improvement. I, I like the variety of this offense. Um, and I think that uh, if the quarterback plays the way he's playing, there's plenty of guys that can make plays with the ball as long as he gets it out of his hand. And, Coach, uh, as you go through that process of the week, you, you know, step us through what happens. I know on Sunday you kind of put that game to rest, and then the rest of the week is working on your next opponent. Yeah, no doubt. So, um, you know, our players' day off is on Monday. So Sunday we, you know, we close the chapter on the last game, but then we go immediately with our players. You know, we'll spend, you know, half hour with our players just to briefly, you know, give them a little bit of break, but a half hour on Cincinnati on Sundays. And then, you know, the kids leave, they eat dinner, and then we are, you know, we're full into game planning, just breaking down who they are. And then all Monday morning, really the entire, day, the entire Monday, we are game planning for normal downs for a Tuesday practice. So that's when we're getting all of our normal game plan, our first down, second down stuff. Uh, game plan offensively, defensively, and obviously all the special teams. Wednesday, we really get into some third down and some red zone goal line, st- you know, situational stuff there. Thursday, we clean it all up with our perfect Thursday. You know, we got it all in now. We put it all together. And then Friday, we just have a walkthrough, and Saturday, we go kick some butt. And you got to have, uh, I'm sure, lighting the lights on the cathedral, the victory lights. Uh, the players were excited, really happy to hear them. But uh, are they able to, you know, Turn the page to like we get a we new sure opponent so. now. Forget we sure about hope it. So, um, you know, we talk about that all the time. And we, you know, Sunday night team meeting. It is that game's over. We're on to Cincinnati, and that's why we get them thinking about that game on Sunday night. We're already into that. We don't want to wait till Tuesday to say, "Hey, here they are." Um, so we're into that Sunday. They come in for a brunch. You know, it's their day off. We don't have any scheduled stuff, but they come in for brunch uh, to get something to eat, and then you know, we hit them with some football stuff then. All right, Mr. Bostic, let's hear it for Pat Bostic and his outstanding evaluation and scouting report. Partner, we'll uh, see, ya. see you on see Friday you. at the Charter. See you on the Charter. What, what are you going to yeah, go I'm, with? Hey, with the real game plan, I'm waiting for him to come in and give us some tips at some point. I mean, yeah. former quarterback, you think he'd give us some safety tip yeah. or some corners. Okay. Hey, I, I noticed when the corner's doing this or the safety's doing if this. If I did that, if I did that, you'd probably put me in a headlock for, for <laughs> putting it on the <laughs> for putting it on the air. Oh, you're I, telling Satterfield that you say, know this. I, so I, 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 I want to let you put it on the air. Uh, I want yeah. you to give me some tips when we're here. Oh, off air. Yeah, we'll talk. Okay. We'll, talk. we'll be back with some final thoughts. You're listening to the Pat Narduzzi Show in the Pit Panthers Radio Network. Welcome to the Eliza Hot Metal Bistro and Hotel Indigo Pittsburgh, University, Oakland. Host of the Pat Narduzzi Show. At Eliza Hot Metal Bistro, our chefs are true craftsmen, infusing every bite with passion and precision. Elevate your special event to new heights with our rooftop terrace, with over 2,600 square feet of flexible event space. And when it's time to relax after being minutes from the action, our well-appointed guest rooms provide the perfect sanctuary. The Eliza Hot Metal Bistro and Hotel Indigo Pittsburgh, University, Oakland, where every detail, every moment matters. Hey, Pitt fans, Delta Airlines is proud to fly the Pittsburgh Panthers and their fans across the country and around the globe. 
Delta Airlines offers nonstop service to six destinations from Pittsburgh. Whether traveling for business or pleasure, you'll enjoy Delta Airlines award-winning customer service as we support you through your travel journey. Pitt Athletics and Delta Airlines, keep climbing. At UPMC, we believe care goes beyond our walls and into our communities. That's why we support organizations and individuals who help people prosper by giving them skills and training for employment, including right here at UPMC. Because life-changing is providing people a chance to grow. Learn more at upmc.com slash community impact. UPMC, life-changing medicine. I'm with Rocco Florio of Air Pro Heating and Cooling, a trusted HVAC company that carries quality Bryant products and serves the entire Pittsburgh area. Rocco, what's up on prices for furnaces and air conditioning equipment? Larry, it's best for people to purchase now, as equipment prices are going up in the coming months. AirPro takes pride in our prices. We are lower than the competition and provide financing options and long warranties. Call AirPro Heating and Cooling today at 800 749 0642. Bryant, whatever it takes. Hey, Pittsburgh, it's Cam Hayward. I know firsthand that an illness such as cancer can strike at any time, even when you're at the top of your game. If you are healthy and life is going your way now, this is the best time to get life insurance. You can get a policy with GBU Life that is affordable to you now and build on it for the future with their guaranteed purchase option rider. Get started protecting the life you're building today at GBU.org. GBU Life is the marketing name for GBU Financial Life. Pittsburgh, PA. Life insurance underwritten by GBU. This is a paid endorsement. Coverage is subject to approval and may not be available in all states. When it comes to financial planning, most financial companies ask, what's your salary? At Northwestern Mutual, we ask, what's your story? We know building the right financial plan means looking at more than money. That's why we start by asking the right questions, listening to what matters most to you, then guiding you every step of the way to help you live the life you want. Plan your financial story with Northwestern Mutual. Contact Northwestern Mutual Pittsburgh today. Visit pittsburgh.nm.com. The Northwestern Mutual Life Insurance Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Let's return to the Pat Narduzzi Show on the Pitt Panthers Radio Network. And head coach Pat Narduzzi, let's talk about uh, this matchup. First game on the road after your win against Kent State. It's in Cincinnati, noon kickoff, a place you're familiar with. And as you get ready to face the Bearcats, your thoughts? Yeah, uh, we're playing a really good football team. They're experienced on offense. They're explosive. Uh, They've got a great running game. Uh, we certainly, when you talk about keys to victory, you better stop the run, you know, uh, on Saturday because that's going to be that's going to be critical. And then uh, as far as just you know, our offense needs to go out and operate against these guys. It's a totally different front that we've seen. The three down, you know, they're going to play two fives and you know, and a big old zero in there with the Corleone kid in there, um, and um, they're going to play with three deep safety. So they, they're going to dare you to run it and then try to change change up the the fits with all the backers and the safeties coming down. So uh, they, uh, they they do a nice job. They're well coached. You know, Scott Satterfield is a really good dude and and uh, super coach coach excited about uh, back-to-back noon starts really excited i love that uh you know that uh routine of you know that noon start and you know then we'll move on to the next one but we're into round two and uh, i know our guys will be excited here we go good luck against the bearcats sounds good thanks larry hail to pit pat narduzzi and we want to thank our team executive producer pj kamanchik tom katanzari producing here at the indigo hotel Seth Davis back at Master Control fits Paul Bartu and his team, and a special thanks to Allison Rubin, and also Executive Associate Athletic Director and his team for Media Relations, E.J. Borghetti. You've been listening to the Pat Narduzzi Show right here on the Pit Panthers Radio Network.